Welcome back, everybody. We're doing a Cons of Tarkir draft. Y'all heard Cons of Tarkir? Thank you. Oh, sup, Alan? Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. So, I just think it's so funny. I'm like, why is this chat still here? Why is this still here? Why? Why is anything the way it is? Uh, Master Pulse is okay. Opulent Palace is good. I think I still just want the Master of Pearls. I mean, if I'm taking this or this, I think I'd just rather go with Master. It keeps us more open. Had to leave after the draft. How'd we do? Uh, 2-1. So not terrible. 2-1. Oh, and then another Opulent Palace. High Spire Minus keeps us into Jeskai or into uh, Mardu, which is nice. I think we're just going to take the High Spire Mantis. Dragon Style Twins? Whoa. Also keeps us in Jeskai or Mardu. So I think we're just going to keep taking these cards that leave us open. Uh, Feet of Resistance is a very, very, uh, another very, very good pick. Ponyback Brigade seems pretty good here. Especially with Master of Pearls. A past you on YouTube told me you have a salami for my mommy. I'm pretty sure Mike has the salami for your mommy. So what are we taking? Are we taking Kill Shot or Ponyback Brigade? These are the questions that we have to ask ourselves. This still keeps us open. This works very well with Master. I'm going to take the Kill Shot because... I'm not sure where Jess got yet. Arrowstorm? Alright, we're just going to keep taking the good stuff. So, I'm okay with this so far. <sighs> Choose the correct ones. That's a good strategy. I can get behind that. I've got spurs that jingle, jangle, jingle. Mm, Bloodfell Caves. Jeskai Wind Scout, probably the most playable card in the pack. Both of these cards pull us in different directions. We don't need none of that pony baloney. Wow, that's aggressive. Is this where you want to be? Sky Wind Scout. I'm going to take the Bloodfell Caves. If I take the Wind Scout, it puts us into Jeskai, but it also leaves us no fixing for the Jeskai deck. If I take the Bloodfell Caves, we're still not committing to blue. What up, Chris? My man. I'm going to take this Wind Scarred Crag. You ever, ju you ever just had to stand out above the crowd? What does that mean? I feel like that's a reference to something. Oh, I got a thing. Swift kick. Swift kick. Okay, I'll take a swift kick. This format's great. I have never actually seen the Goofy movie. I don't know if that's weird or not. <laughs> that's unsubscribed. Wow. Oh, Ponyback Boy came back? Ain't no Ponyback Boys around and around the world. And around the world with a Ponyback Boy and it's ain't no Ponyback Boy. You guys know that jam, right? That Pony Back Boy jam? Uh, no. Okay. Maybe. PM me your address. I'll buy it. I'll buy me and you copies of the Goofy movie and I'll watch it. That sounds amazing. How do you not have... I feel like you should have my address. Yeah, we can do that. We can coordinate a Goofy movie watch. A Goofy party. This guy's not great. What is going on? What's the deal, phone? Okay. 
Okay, apparently this is a real voicemail. Oh, bye bye. So I like Valkoner. I also like Heart Piercer, Mardu Heart Piercer a lot. They're like, call for a warranty specialist. I'm like, what are you talking about? You idiots. So we have two charms, neither of which are for us. This pack's not great for us, unfortunately. Unless I'm missing something. Uh, American Nightblade, I guess, is fine. Sultai Scavenger is also just fine. Yeah, it's like, you have to call before a certain mileage, and I'm like, what are you talking about? So then I just Google the number, and I'm like, let's see what you... Let's see what you're all about. I guess we're gonna... We're gonna take this guy, I guess. And we're gonna go... I always want to. I always want to pick up and be like, "Yes, can I help you?" Do you need something? What do you need from me? Tell me. Sage of the Inward Eye is good. War name Aspirant, probably where we want to be. We have no two drops yet, but this is a good one. Oh, Jeering Instigator. Another two drop, but also more than a two drop. Barrage of Boulders, fine. Rise of the Serpent, good. Yeah, I'm just taking the Jeering Instigator. Probably too good not to take. Hordling Outburst or Mardu Skull Hunter? Both of these are decent. I don't think I want another Arrow Storm just yet. Hordling Outburst and Master Pearl is pretty good. I'm going to take the Hordling Outburst here. When you cast your next copy, it's sure. Sure. Bitter Revelation is good. Just guy students actually fine. They want to make sure if your meatball sub doesn't have the re requisite amount of pepper jack that you can't get your What about mayonnaise? I feel like meatball, meatball sub should have enough mayonnaise too. I mean, nobody wants a meatball sub with not enough mayonnaise. Wow, there's a lot of right of the serpents. I'll take two rights. Oh god, a miracle whip on gross. Trump maybe it's a trauma blast deck. Maybe it's a tormenting voice deck. I like tormenting voice. Sunny whip. This deck seems pretty good so far. I'm pretty okay with it. Sunny whip, it'll burn and cool your throat.
It's like icy hot. Jesus. That's disgusting. All right, one more pack. Icy Blast is not what we're looking for. Mardu Charm, however. Mardu Charm's a, a banger. Oh, Ash Cloud Phoenix, this card's unbeatable. How lucky. How lucky. I would like to take some more lands, though. I would like to be presented with more lands to take, though. I think we're just taking two drop here. I really don't want another Merrick Nightblade. I think our four drop slot's a little heavy. Come on, lands. Don't do me like that. He, he said uh, right before taking another four drop. I mean, it's removal, so... Brian Weissman is playing the deck in the old school tournament in Vegas. Yeah, that makes sense. That's like, that's like, just perfect, isn't it? I don't think this guy's very good in our deck. Like, we have no other creatures that outlast, really. We're basically a Jeskai deck with some Mardu cards in it. Sunny D, it'll burn your throat. Smite does seem really good in this format. Like, there's so many big fat idiots that you just want to kill. Scoured Barons. I will definitely take that over any of these other cards. <sighs> I guess Valley Dasher is the most unoffensive card in this pack. I mean, worst case scenario, we'll play, uh, well, nothing in this pack. I mean, Defiant Strike's not unplayable. Worst case scenario, I'll play the Merrick Knight Blade and, like, a Mardu Banner. And I feel like with two rights and a Master of Pearls and a Ponyback Brigade, I think we're okay with playing 17 lands and a Banner, but... Chris, are they streaming it? Or are you just getting the play-by-play? -play? Ooh, Mardu Hateblade. Yes, please. No, because there is no justice in the world. <laughs> uh, that sounds about correct. Uh, Salt Road Patrol? I guess you're fine. Thank you. Lamaglue, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Do we have a Rakshasa secret yet? No. I don't want to mill myself, though. I know that sounds dumb, but, like... Oh, uh, Unyielding Krumar is okay. Is this bird just better? I don't know, man. Birds are hard. How do birds work? Sure. All right, so a bunch of junk came back. Well, I got one of each land. I guess that's good. I mean, Salt Road Patrol better than, like, Merrick Nightblade. I think so, because the 2-5 is really relevant, whereas the 2-3 that doesn't actually have Death Touch is pretty rough. I think this is actually pretty okay. <clears throat> sort by color. 
The problem is we don't have a ton of black, but we do have a ton of two double black cards, which is rough. Sun, eight, oh, dupe, dupe. So this is five, six, seven, five, six, seven, four, five, six. Yeah, this is seven, 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 six again, just like last time, which I think is fine. Yeah, this format's fantastic. Yeah, I actually think this is fine. I think Goblin Slide can do some work here. Maybe? How many spells do we even have? Let's find out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Might just be better as a banner, to be quite honest. Yeah, I like a banner better. We could go 866 and add another. I don't know if I like 6 though. I think the banner helps both of those. <clears throat> okay, I'm good with this. Luis is watching Weissman play. That's oh man, good times. Vegas is Vegas is something else. How much mana has he got in play? Oh, he's got fourteen hundred mana in play. You see. Did you see the picture I linked? Uh, no, but I'm gonna check it out right now. Oh God. Oh dear Lord. Oh God, that's so much money, dude. <clears throat> oh, that's a ludicrous amount of money. Oh my God, that's, that makes me wanna vomit. What did they put in their hand? Where's my ch where's my thing? Show game log, show chat log. What happened here? Puts at Dragon's Eye Savants. Okay, so nope, 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 nope. Good thing you have a Dune Blast. Is this just a morph? Are you just playing this as a 2-2 morph? Because that's... <clears throat> that was a pretty unimpressive scout the borders, if so. I wonder if that is your drag. What, you didn't take a land when you don't have a fourth land? What? What is even happening right now? Sunny D, it'll burn your throat. How much of that format is just looking at my monkeys? Okay. And you have this guy, which you have no blue. Okay, so this is very strange. I guess you're just playing blue and you just don't have any blue. This is all very weird. I played in Sierra Leone. I to play against uh, streamers often, so that was pretty cool. Dorox, con uh, I was gonna say congrats, but that seems weird to say, but awesome. Who, which, where were you playing?
Yep, no no effects. I could actually arrow storm this and get rid of it, but I don't think I care that much. I've sang so much of that song that it led to an awkward conversation, but that's hilarious. Why do you keep singing the Sunny D song about burning throats? Uh, well, you see. It's like this. I assume that's this guy. Oh, and they got their blue finally. Good work. I played Abzan and won in game three games. It was the last. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, did you have the Sentinels of, of High Ration? The High Ration Sentinels, whatever those guys are called. Because that card is bonkers. We're just getting rid of this guy. Because I want to be able to attack with these creatures. Oh, I didn't want to get in there with this guy. Dang it, I made a mistake. <clears throat> yeah, that card is busted. And then I was like, oh no, it didn't have a counter on it after all. I just figured... Trade with the hate blade? Okay. Yeah, I was just like, oh, well, clearly it's getting larger, so it, it gets a counter too. But then, like, I don't know, it's a really weird mental thing. Will we have cybernetically enhanced butler monkeys in the future? It's 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 possible. It's always so hard to say though, you know. Sixteen. I don't even think it's worth attacking with these guys here. We're definitely going to try to keep some lands in our hand because we have Tormenting Voice somewhere in here. To be fair, this could also be another Snowhorn Rider. We have no idea. Doesn't it just make more sense to have robot butlers and just leave the monkeys alone? I think so, yeah. You could have robot butlers that look like monkeys and then the monkeys don't have to actually get messed with. Okay, well, now it could, these could be anything. This feels like a Trail of Mystery deck. Where's that Master of Pearls when you need it? Well, that's a land. Okay. Well, that's not what we're looking for at all. I'm just going to pass here. Lama Goyf, have a great have a great night, buddy. Enjoy your sushi. <sighs> no more lands. War name aspirant. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's go for the gusto here. Aspirant. Counter a creature, put two 1 1 counters on a thing. So this is a 7. Yeah, now we're going to arrow storm that for sure. It's too big. Wait, what? Why did it get... Is it an 06? I thought it was an 05. It's not an 05? <sighs> That's really obnoxious. Why did I think it was an 05? 
was an 06? Oh my god, that's so bad. Wow, I just threw an arrow storm. That's amazing. Ah, it's so bad. Live mass are the worst, man. That's the second time I've, like, messed up with counter math. I'm like, oh, clearly, after these counters, it'll be a 2-7. Oh, no, wait, you're a 2-8. Last game, I'm like, clearly, Sentinels of uh, High Ration has a counter on it, so this bring low will deal 5 to it and kill it. Oh, clearly, it does not have a counter on it. Good times. Sure, no blocks. Flip your abomination of good duel. No, just a snowhorn rider? Sure. Mono snowhorn riders. I actually don't know how I'm going to deal with Dragon's Ice Savant as a 2 8. Which is comical. That's a really comical thing to say. I don't know how to deal with this Dragon's Eye Savant. Sure. Not land. Okay, well, that's good. <sighs> yep. Are they ever going to flip this guy? They're going to flip it right now. It's going to be Sagu Muller. Sagu Archers. Wrong Sagu, I guess. 2 5 and a 2 8. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. You guys have devolved into some kind of robot monkey shenanigans. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 lands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. I mean, this game is pretty un unexciting at the moment. Aggressive. Huh. Arrow storm on my one three. I almost want to kill this guy because it's like, it could be anything really good. It could also be crap, so we're just going to get rid of the Hooting Mandrels for now. Monastery Flock, jeez, that one's terrible.
<laughs> okay, so they're both terrible. Well, that's fine, I guess. I accept. Arrow storm number two. Take five. All right, so we're just playing against Morvedot deck and land. Oh, there we go. Okay. That's why we're keeping that planes in hand, boys. Dragon style twins. One, two, three. One, two, three. Banner. Twinsies. Ah. <sighs> three cards in hand going to next turn. Hmm. Just that guy, huh? Is it Snowhorn Rider number three? Seems bad. Maybe. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, Lord. Sometimes you just know. Can I get another right of the serpent? That would be great. Interesting. That's not terrible. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we can actually crack this. One, two, three. Let's see what we get. Two, three. Nope, don't do that to this guy. Actually pretty good. Just this guy. How do we how do we benefit from this? If it's your turn. Okay, we're just gonna we're gonna we're gonna concede here. We can't really deal with this guy anyway, so wow. Did no one tell me that this was only on your turn? I think you guys are way too into this monkey robot conversation. Um Yeah, that was only on their turn. Wow, that's interesting. I mean it's a rare, I figured it'd be I think we're good. <laughs> Chat's fault. Yeah, I blame Chat. Did none of you guys tell me? God, unbelievable. Yeah, this is, this is a keyboard. 41, correct. Is that... Is that, un is that unbelievable? 
I never understand when people just say 41 with a question mark. Like, what's your, what's your concern or criticism? Use your words. Yeah, we're not gonna. That is a good number. I agree with you. I'm a fan. I'm like sitting here trying to figure out which creature to take with the jeering instigator and you guys are like uh it doesn't actually do that on their turn I guess we'll just morph it up. Well, well. Oh, that's pretty good. I kind of just want to play that. And then next turn we have a right of the serpent. I mean, I'm pretty sure at least one of these is a snowhorn guy. But they have no red yet. Well, now they do. <laughs> That's a, joke's on you, I got a fetch land. Okay, well. Um, oh boy, I'll just take it. You know what, I ain't gonna throw like three guys in front of this and two for one myself with some snow horn, snow horn bro horn. Well, that's pretty insane. So they attacked with this guy, so I assume this is this one is big enough to like kill things, which is great. Because sure. That I don't care about. It's gotta be a snow horn, right? Yep. <laughs> I mean it's the one they attacked with, which means they can get through high spire mantis and a morph, so. Dream Meme Weaver, glad to see it, buddy. We're discussing a recent discovery of an until known unknown ending of a revelation of John. It describes the annihilation of mankind by robo apes, although some scholars argue that the term would be better translated robo monkeys. There is there's also widespread uh discussion of this ending of Revelations is the origin of an annihilism as okay we're done here <laughs> wow that was that was something Karakong that was something right there I don't even know what I just read Oh, Glacial Stocky, Mick Stockerson. Hmm. 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 
New you and uh, you and you. I mean, whatever this is, I'll trade one for one for it. I'm totally fine with that. Okay. They didn't do anything. Hmm. Hmm. I think they make this guy unable to block, right? And then they just actually activate that guy. No, that's fine. I'm just going to pass here. Yeah, it seems like everyone has a really favorable opinion of cons of Tarkir Limited. It's a great format. So they block here, and they block. Yeah, I'm tempted to swift kick this guy, right? Like, I guess we can actually just flip pony back, and it's pretty good. Ain't no pony back, but. Let's just top deck a Master of Pearls for once in our lives. This is why we keep keeping these lands in hand. Keep keeping them. Keep keeping them. And we can play this. Steal this, get to know what it is, and if they want to flip it, they have to do it now, otherwise they have to spend their mana next turn, which is pretty bad. Yep, alright. It was a Kintree Warden? Oh my goodness gracious. Well, that's just terrible. I told you picking the correct cards would work. Man, I should have listened to you sooner. I mean, a white mana would be great here, because then we can go this guy into this guy. Despise is also great in this matchup, just because it, uh... It lets us see what their... What their morphs are all about. Don't turn around. Sago Archer is like one of the only ones I actually give a shit about. Yeah, all those other ones are junk. Can't even flip this guy. Don't turn around. Uh oh. 
Do, 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 do. Oh, oh. Okay, so it could be either one of those. What they what land they play an island. Sounds good. Uh yeah, there's some good morphs. They have three of the snow herder five fives. Um I mean, no, mine's just better. Oh, God. Oh, wow, we're so good at this game. It's unbelievable. Don't turn around. Oh, oh. FYI, Frank, that warrior deck you drafted was so sweet. I love the attention to the importance of one drops in an aggro based deck. Yeah, oh yeah, the Mardu Hateblade is fantastic. It's definitely one of the best. I mean, I would say it's even one of the best warriors in the format just because it can trade with anything. And unlike the future sets, like there's there's tons of sets that have like one ones for one with death touch. But in this format, it actually has a relevant ability too. Or a relevant creature type, rather. So like you get all the sweet warrior synergies. And also, additionally, you get to. Uh, raid things with it. You get to play it on turn one, and then all your raid your raid two drops um, are relevant. Okay, so we know Arrow Storm is the only card in your hand. And fascinating. Well, let's get in there. Take it for him. Okay. Well, this is super obnoxious when they have three dudes, so. Okay, so we know two of these. One is a Kintry War and one is a Dragon's Eye Savant, right? So, like... So they can flip the Dragon's Eye, the, the Kintry War, and then just regenerate it. Which is fine. So I'm going to assume this is the Kintry Warden. You're going to flip it, draw a card, regenerate it. A fifth land here would be really nice. We can play this guy or this guy. Oh. Hmm. Fascinating. Well, still a trade. So we still know these. There's a kin tree. Okay, so we know this is a dragon's eye spawn. You have an arrow storm in hand and two other cards. Okay. Come on, lands. 
Jeez. I mean, two right of the serpents in hand. This first morph is a dragon's eye savant. We know that. Well. This kills him in six turns, so... Another Gintry Warden. Yikes. I mean, without secret plans, these guys are just absolutely terrible, right? They're just gray ogres. Interesting. Uh, sure. That's gone. We know this is this. Okay, now we're talking. Now we are a talking. A taka taka talking. Two four is rough, but Master of Pearls next turn. Maybe flip eventually at some point. Oh, don't turn on. Oh, that's actually fantastic. Yeah, we're just playing that. We are just playing that. It's your boy, Ash Cloud Feeny. Um, yeah, it's not even... like the, the fact that these guys are regenerated is just... Not even good, just obnoxious. Okay, so what? These are the five you hit. You obviously take Snowhorn Rider. Uh, put Snowhorn Riders into the hand, sure. Doot, 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 doot. Oh, they didn't even play it? This is all very fascinating. So we know you have a Snowhorn Riders and two other cards. This guy's just going to get through. What? Okay. Reveal dragon. Sure. This guy's not. This guy doesn't have flying, though. So. Did he get to draw two cards? Jesus. Now I wish I played this first, because then they wouldn't get to see it, and it could be anything, but now they know what it is. Nope. Yep. Let's just hit that second white land. <laughs> Five cards and a Snowhorn Rider in hand. Double white, right? Two white and three? Yeah. Okay. Gee, I wonder what that is. Actually, it could be anything. I mean, they drew, like, infinite cards since then. But they don't have much removal, and Trap Essence is, uh... already in the graveyard. White mana. Do -do 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 -do. So, Phoenix is gonna deal six. The smallest guy is gonna deal three. Pretty sure we can just kill the the morph creature, uh, which would put them way far behind. Or we can literally just flip up our guy and then next turn go for broke with uh, with master of pearls. Yeah, I think we're gonna do that. Yep, they draw two more. Oh wow. It was a canyon lurker. <laughs> they just have so many cards. They have they have nine cards. We have twenty three. They've drawn fourteen more cards than we have. I guess not. They haven't drawn fourteen. They put like four in the graveyard from the scout 
after drawing one of them. So they've drawn 10 cards more than we have. I mean, like, one, two, three, four, five, six from the other guy. Okay, well, I will assume that is your, your dude. Don't turn around. Uh oh. What is this? Oh, Dune Blast. Oh boy. Always fun. Always a good time. I mean, we just get to flip this guy up and then put them to seven and then kill their guy. Yeah, that's pretty good. We both take two, they go to seven. Right of the serpent this, so they can't actually draw any card. And now we know one of the cards in their hand. Unless that was, yep, we don't know anything actually. Sammy, what's going on, buddy? The common fallen. Oh, oh, oh. Good times. Oh, when we just win the game. All right. Good times. Good times. The deck was good. I will play first. Eh, I don't, I don't hate this hand. I wish, one red, but like we can play this guy face down. We gotta play. I'm okay with it, I guess. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. Okay, now we just need some red things. What's the red card on the very left? Jeering Instigator. It basically steals a creature on your turn. Land. Oh, we're so good at this game. It's it's absolutely unbelievable, guys. Alright, so now we're okay. It's a Goblin Rogue. That's all you need to know. That's it. That's all you need. Oh, that's pretty good. All right, let's do that. We trading? They're like, you know what? I'll take it. Oh yeah, that's fine. Grim Harrow specs, eh? Well, we still can't play anything. 
good times. Everything is on her. Oh, no blocks. No blocks. <sighs> Be great if I didn't miss three land drops. My hand seems good. Oh, look, a land. Actually, oh, first strike, that's nice. Well, that's, that's problematic. What if we make armament core not, armament core not block? Would they block with Jessica, would they block the Jeskai student at that point? I don't like any of our options here. This is pretty bad. Mountain Mama. I mean, I'd sooner kill this guy and then block this guy with a two four. If we got rid, of, if we had to kill shot something. I'd rather kill shot the 5-5 five, five, than the 3-2. I mean, we missed four land, five, three land drops, so. That guy's annoying. Well, that's what we wanted to do, but unfortunately now they draw a card and... God, our opponents are just like, have all these card engines where they're like, Oh, all my creatures make me draw cards. And I'm like, okay, well, that's very good, but... I'd appreciate it if you didn't. It'd be cooler if you didn't. Uh, yeah, it's basically the land. All right, now we've hit four land drops missed. So, but your opponent has also missed two land drops. That has to count for something, right? 
No. No, it does not. And they've missed one land drop. Still have three cards in hand, so they have one more card than us. Or one one fewer cards than us, despite missing uh, three less lands. Anyway, that's magic for you guys. What are you going to do? What I What is this? One, two... Let's say it's six, seven, right? They attacked with it much earlier. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. Whatever. Throw it, you figure it out. I think it's Warning Aspirant and Salt Road Patrol, and they're gonna, nope, okay. I don't know what this is. Disney just announced a Moon Knight TV show? Get the fuck out of here. Oh god. Oh dear Jesus. Oh boy. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Hold on. I have to... Oh, wow. That's insane. Oh, dear God. No, don't be... Never be sorry about alerting me of a Moon Knight show. Oh, Lord. Oh, goodness. Turn this guy face up. Real stupid hoarding outburst. You can't block. Good. It's whenever another creature dies, not just one of their creatures. Yikes. Well, they have an 88 flyer, which kills us in two turns. So we actually have no real way to deal with that. I guess we could draw Smite the Monstrous off the top, but that seems unlikely. So Here we go. Smite one time. No Smite. And next game. Okay, so that was fun and educational. Oh boy, that was something right there. Wow, Namor is kind of like a Marvel Vegeta. That's actually a great comparison. Wow, that's a fantastic comparison. I will play first. I will keep this beautiful, beautiful hand that is lacking in some some lands and early plays, but that's okay. 
Okay, the only thing that more hype than this, if they announce Keanu Reeves as Mark Spector. That's all I want. I don't even think we play this as a morph. We just played as a 4 1. Perfect. Actually, perfect. I'm gonna drive on down to the old town road. Yeah, we're just gonna Phoenix it up. Phoenix is pretty bonkers in this format as well. You gotta kill it twice. The bird's so nice, you gotta kill it twice. I'm tempted to kill this now while we have a chance. Could be something good. Could be could be something... Yeah, that guy's fine. I don't want them flipping that guy on us next turn and dealing us five. I'm okay with this. Oh, you got it. Big hoots. No blocks. Who even needs to block? Um, Might as well get the damage in, right? This guy doesn't do me any favors back here. It's either Prowler or Salt Road Patrol. Prowler puts more pressure on the boards. Salt Road Patrol just blocks this guy. We'll go for Prowler. Oh my god, a She-Hulk series too? Oh god. And Miss Marvel? Jesus. Oh god, Marvel, what are you doing? Besides absolutely killing it. I mean, they have to block here, right? I guess they don't have to, but... They should. They just want our money so much. Yeah, like, I mean, they, they, they already have my $6 a month, dude. Way. Way, way earn that. Yeah, it's $6.99 a month for Marvel Plus. It's unreal cheap. Or sixty nine ninety nine a year. So seventy bucks a year, which is like two months free. And that's even more insane.
<laughs> well, Ash Cloud Phoenix has been dispatched. D -d 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 dispatched. Okay, so you can go block here, block here. I guess we're just playing this guy. Why I would use this instead, I don't know, but... I mean, we traded Ash Cloud Phoenix for like 12 damage and a Mardu Charm and a Swarm of Blood Flies. So ideally, like, I mean, that's a good amount. Sure. Would really like another White Source or another land. That would be just grand. Wow, all right, sure. Yep, all right, so. Okay, that's fine. Come on. Oh, come on. All right, well. I got one card in hand. Sure. We have two six drops and one double white draw. Like, I mean, like, oh, God. God, we still have to play another game if we win this. This is brutal. Death Touch First Death Touch First Strike is a heck of a combination. They did nothing. Land. I'm getting so sad. I'm like the saddest that I've ever been in my life. Oh god, what is this nonsense? You're just gonna flip an Abzan guide? Sure, that's fine. If we had one more land, we can play Mardu Hateblade and flip this Ponyback Brigade, but then if we had one more land, we would just flip Master of Pearls, so. So I guess we just trade with this guy. Hope you don't have Feet of Strength, Feet of Resistance. They always have Feet of Resistance. Nope, not Feet of Resistance. Dragon Scale Boon. Okay. I mean, that's not great. Not great, Bob. I mean, they would have had Death Touch first strike, so it doesn't really matter if we threw another guy in front of that, so. That's why you gotta... Can't just be like, hey, I'm gonna throw uh, four guys in front of this guy and then uh, blow you up. And that's pretty good. <laughs> that's a that's a solid addition to the to the hand of removal. At least we can cast it. Second white would be nice because then we can play Mardu Hayblade and cast Smite the Monstrous. But then we'd probably just be winning with this guy. Unfortunately, neither of these guys are targets, otherwise we can be like, get rid of your death touch, and then the infinite block. Get rid of your first strike, and then infinite block. But, I mean, I don't think those are even better. Oh, wow, land. Come on, dude! <sighs> Alright, so we're just going to sacrifice a goblin to kill this morph, and then we can also play Mardu Hateblade. This is ridiculous. This is turn 13, we have into 6 land. Come on. I mean, you can flip it if you if you're able to. Wow. It's, it's 
Seems good. I assume it's another Abzan guide. I mean, come on. I'm just gonna take it here. <laughs> Flip your Abzan guide. Flip your 6-6 six, six Abzan guide. Go back to 20. 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, that's so much better. Oh, wow. I think we kill you with a white source. Yeah, that'll do. Wow. All right. Presuming they don't have a... If they have, like, a removal spell for something relevant. Well, this actually still looks pretty good for us. I don't think they have anything. I think they just went right to damage. Master of Pearls. No joke. All right, let's try to win again. Do we have any kind of secret removal that we can use? Eh, I actually don't hate Despise. Like, it gets sort of really relevant creatures. Is there anything that's just been like Unpressive? Not really. I mean, Jeskai Student, but I still like... I think it's a necessary card to have. Whatever. I'll do... I'll 41 it. We can take out the banner. I'm just like... I think it's fine. Especially because our mana requirements are tend to have to have tended to be pretty rough so far. Like wanting double white a turn or double red for something. You know what? I will keep this. It's not great. But they went to six. We're on the draw. The journeyman and helper of pearls. Just that's true. That's a good point. Uh, we have nothing to play on turn two. I'm actually going to hold this till next turn because we get to see one more card. And I'd like to maximize the chances of like pulling a good morph creature or something. That hand is terrible and not at all offensive. Okay, well. <laughs> Meanwhile, we don't have a third land, so what are you going to do? Well, that's pretty good, though. 
surprised they let us attack there. If this guy gets one more, then we get to smite it. That's fascinating. Yep, saw that coming. How about a land? What land are you going to play? Swamp? Alright. I know nothing. Yeah, this feels good. <laughs> that's a nice... That's a nice one to have. I can see this Ash Cloud Phoenix just winning this game. When novice of pearls is turned face up, give your give your team negative one, negative one. Maybe keep practicing, guy. You'll get there. So you have one card in hand. Oh jeez. Oh jeez, Rick. Oh yeah, I think we're doing well this game, despite our hand's uh, unfortunate slowness. Wow, this is this is something right here. So I can actually do one of these jobbies, prevent you from blocking. And you actually can't block here. So, I, I mean, I could, I guess you have removal and then block here, it's fine, but I don't think that's what's going to happen at all. Eh, that's fine. It's a good trade. And now you're at six, so you're done on board. Ashcloud Phoenix is no joke. Even if you kill Ashcloud Phoenix, we get to flip it, deal you two, and then attack with it. Yeah, that's gonna be game or close to it. Uh, let's just arrow storm this guy. Ashcloud Phoenix, no joke. And let's see if we can 3 0 this bad boy. Intermediate of Pearls gives your team plus O plus 2. Still not quite there, but better than Novice. Hey, you're getting there, and I can appreciate the work you're putting in. Seems fine. Three removal spells, one of which is uh, pretty dependent on. on having a creature. kind of want to do this. I don't know if we need to yet, but I really want to be able to play something next turn. I mean, like, okay, so we're going to see two new cards and we get to see a new card next turn. So we get to see three cards. I think I'm safe discarding a land here. This is good. Now we get to play Banner? Sure. Like, Mountain is never a card where I'm like, oh no, I wish I had that Mountain. Whereas, like, Arrow Storm could definitely uh, end up killing something that we needed to kill, if that makes sense. Hmm. I don't think they're ever blocking, so...
Abzan, Valkyrie. Does that do anything? Not really, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six mana, huh? We can kill this guy and crack in there, but then they just block, right? So I guess we just attack anyway. If you ain't attacking, you ain't living. That's what I always say. Does he say that? I don't know. <sighs> yeah, we'll just pass. If they don't do anything, we can crack the banner. Oh, fascinating. So many more of us, man. I'm actually not even sure if we do crack the banner. Like, I like having Arrow Storm up here. Yeah, I don't think we need yet. I think we're good. Oh, well. I mean, I'm still... If I would trade with this, I'll trade with this too. It's fine. Right, I was a sorcerer. I'm saying, like, I don't have double red if I don't... If I crack the banner. It doesn't matter if I can cast at end of turn, end of my turn. I'm just saying I won't have double red for it. I'll block here. I'll trade. Attempted trade, anyway. Oh, no! You're giving the bird? So... One, two, three, four. One, two, three. We can't do both. This does get rid of a lot of things, though. I think we just kill shot this guy and take the six, right? that resolve kill shot you take six rough take a rough six well now I want it because I want to play something here right of the serpent and we get to kill the dude with a counter on it jeez oh my god you didn't block this is great news so now we're just going to play this guy shoot this guy oh it was a thousand wins Woo! that's brutal that's like the most brutal thing that's ever happened to a human being in a game of magic the gathering yes I will take three god he had a family All right, let's see what happens here. Can I get some triple boops? Triple boops. It'll burn your throat. Are you double a crippling? This is great because now we are uh, free to kill this guy without any repercussions.
sorry, I, I just think I'm too stupid to understand this. Oh, good. You get a end hostilities back. Oh, you get a crippling chill back? What in the earth? What in the earth? So you know, we know you have crippling chill in hand. Whatever that means. Sunny D, it'll burn your throat. We're at 11. Let's block this guy. I mean, I'll trade an instigator for that. I don't foresee it being super valuable here. Narset, hexproof, huh? Whenever it attacks. Yeah. That's good. That's cool. Well, I'm just gonna pass here, I guess. You get to crippling chill my guy, attack me for 6,000 damage. Good lord. I guess we had a hard time beating the uh, double crippling chill, triple crippling chill, thousand wind, narset, and hostilities deck. <laughs> Crying out loud. Well, it seems unbelievable when you say it like that. Exile the mountain. Sunny D, it'll burn your throat. And then, like, I have one spell. No? Okay. I'm just gonna trade. Okay. Seems fine. Spire Mantis. Let's play you. And then we can actually keep a swift kick. Uh, which is not terrible here. Getting real. This thing is this thing is problematic. <laughs> oh, Jeskai charm. Good times. Such good times. Okay, well their deck seems pretty nuts. Do I play D and D? I do not. I do not. I don't. I don't mind D and D, but I don't. I don't actively play D and D. Uh, smite seems pretty bad. I don't think I saw anything worth smiting. After this, guys, I'm going to go get some food. If you guys haven't done so, definitely check out Manatraders.com. They have an amazing subscription service where you can get. Uh, you can rent Magic Online cards, Magic the Gathering Online cards, or you can rent physical paper cards from them. They have uh, awesome, awesome, what's it called, uh, different different tiers that you can subscribe to, and you get 20% off your first three months with the link and the promo code in the description below, so be sure to check that out. Also, if you guys aren't on Twitch and you guys just watch on YouTube, definitely check me out at patreon.com slash if you guys want to support the channel. It's a great way to do so. You can spend like a dollar or two dollars a month which is literally nothing, but it helps me out because I am a content creator and this is the thing I do for a living. And uh, if you guys are watching this on YouTube and you don't want to spend the $5 a month for a Twitch or you, you know, for a Twitch sub or you just don't have it um, and you still want to support the content, you can definitely do so by spending $1 or $2 or $3 a month on Patreon instead. And uh, that's another great way to support the channel. Patreon.com slash Frank
And also you can check out CoolStuffInc.com. I had an article go up this past Wednesday. It is called... The Most Powerful Do-Nothing Cards in Modern. And it is about all those cards in Modern that do nothing. So check that out as well. And leave a comment in the article if you do, and you can use promo code FRANK5 to get 5% off your lovely, lovely purchase. I feel like their deck is insane. Well, you feel that way because it is, you see. Um, yeah, I'll get in there. Those were some do-nothing cards for sure. I was like, these cards don't do anything. Look at this card. It does nothing. It's just hot trash. All the cards are good. They just don't do anything. So it's really funny to see them. You're like, but why? I don't understand their... Oh, how do you, how do you exist? Boom! 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 I feel like we're doing okay. They have three lands. That's just great. That's just great. I'm not on Twitch. Yes, you are. Why do you gotta lie? What's it like? Why do you gotta lie, Helior? God, you're always like this. None of the lies. Oh boy, that's a gas drop. Maybe we're maybe we're a better positioned than we thought here. I mean if they just get color and mana screwed, I'm like, sure. Let's hit the second one. I don't know if this is a better one or not. Oh that was a good one though. Oh boy. Oh boy. That is a dude. I actually kind of like rising here and then just alphaing. I think that puts us in good shape. One, two, three, four, five. I also don't think there's a card in this format that would really penalize us for that. Maybe it's because it was the last set before another Magic Hades, but I really like it. No, I don't think that's it at all. I think it's because it's just a great set. Cons is just a notoriously good set. Like I've 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 yet to hear anyone who doesn't really just enjoy it thoroughly. So one, two, three. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna actually have any sort of recourse against this Salt Road Patrol getting in there. I hate it, that's weird. Oh wait, no I don't, wow. I was aggressive. Did they see this? I don't think they even saw this. So I really don't even feel like just dropping it out there. It's just a set that has like, so one of the things that I've, I've often said makes a really good set is giving your players lots of options. And that's why I think cubes are so great, because you have so many things to do with your cards. Um, and the fact that you have cards like Outlast, which gives you multiple things to do with your creatures on your turn, you have Morph, which gives you tons of things to do. Um, you just have a lot of options to do with your cards, which gives you a lot of ways to like, what was the, what was the Morph? Uh, a free Weapon Master, sure. Which means, like, at any given time in the game, you have more things that you can possibly do. And more things is just better because it gives you 
more options. I mean, like it's 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 self explanatory, but like you have more chances to win based on the quality of your plays rather than like mana screw or fewer options or whatever. Hold on one second. Okay. Fair words did make it a lot worse. It, triple cons is like gold standard. Triple cons is one of my favorite drafts for it. And it's not just because I top eight at a Grand Prix uh, during triple cons. Although that doesn't hurt. <laughs> oh, this is great. That was a great draw, especially when they're double and red right now. Triple red? Are we going to 3-0 this draft? Um, Sure. No freebies, buddy. You got you to gotta earn it. Oh boy. So I'm just going to do one of these jobbies. One, two, three, four. See if this does anything for us. Oh boy, we are just exploiting their mana situation like nobody's business. Are we really going to throw? I think their deck is insane. Oh, well, that's really good. Oh, that's really good too, though. That's a good recovery. Get to play two things. I mean, of all the cards you can have when you have triple red and play, Arc Lightning is a good one. But we have three removal spells. Uh, land? Okay. I mean, I'm, de I'm definitely tempted. Oh, actually, let's just steal this guy. Curvaceous Kitty, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Just stopping by to say hi. Good luck with your draft. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate the support. Even when you guys can't make it, I really appreciate it. You guys are great. You are the best. So if they... Singing Bell Strike on our, Mar on our Jeskai student. You got it. All right, so we're going to do this jobby on here. Because it's more expensive. That's why we're doing it. And then if they play anything, we can arrow storm. I think we just 3 0 Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check us out on Twitch, on Patreon, as I mentioned. They could have crippling chill. They have like a bunch of crippling chills. But I'm going to say goodbye now. Because it's amazing. So you have to block here. Or we can actually just untap this guy. Uh, let's keep the black up. Because if, if they go crippling chill, they can block here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Untap you. And they did have Crippling Chill. Yep, seems fine. Attack with both of the... Uh, this, is a, this is just a eat, so we'll do the trade. We'll offer the trade for them. And again, we still have Arrow Storm for whatever they play. Followed by the prowess trigger, which is great. And we won the game. Thank you guys for watching. Slam the like and subscribe. Check out Twitch. Check out Patreon. Cool Stuff Inc. And Mana Traders. Those are the sponsors. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all. You're super supportive. And uh, I'm a fan of all of you. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.